Hello and welcome to the lecture about how AC steady state signal can be represented with phasor IE complex number. In this tutorial we will learn true nature of active, reactive and apparent power. Where is the connection between AC stationary signal and complex number IE phasors? Complex number have their real and imaginary component. Present in complex plane, real part is project on x axis and imaginary part is project on y axis. Arbitrary trigonometric signal can be decomposed on cosine and sine part. So by doing a linear arithmetic operation such as addition and subtraction, phasor model of trigonometric signal waveforms will do the job. We can decompose each of the signal into cosine and sine components. Add or subtract cos cosine and sine components among themselves and then obtain final result. The same thing is if we add or subtract real components among themselves and imaginary components among themselves. But things are different when we multiply through trigonometric signals. Multiplying is non-linear operation and product of two trigonometric signals that are on the same frequency will produce signal on frequency that is twice of frequency of input signals. This comes from trigonometry product of two sine functions will give one cosine function on twice is frequency plus offset. This offset is actually active power. In terms of diagram surfaces, what is apparent and what is reactive power? Apparent power is average surface between x-axis and fluctuating component on frequency twice as mains. For given voltage and current, apparent power is always the same, independently from active and reactive power value. If we now define non-absolute surfaces as the sum of positive surfaces above x-axis and negative surfaces below x-axis, we can make some conclusions about reactive power. If non-absolute surface is maximal, i.e. equal to apparent power, then active power is maximal and equal to apparent power, while reactive power is zero. If not the absolute surface is zero, then active power is zero and reactive power is maximal, i.e. equal to apparent power. So product of two trigonometric signals with the same frequency will have component on frequency that is twice of the frequency of input signal. On the other hand, product of two complex numbers, number will produce another complex number that will have its module and phase, but frequency will remain the same. For this reason we don't use phrasers to calculate product of two active signals, let's say voltage and current. But phasers product is very useful for calculating impedance response on active signal entry. In order to find output signal from passive linear network, we need to solve set of linear differential equations. However, with trigonometric active signal, solution for linear differential equations will give another trigonometric signal of certain amplitude and phase. Frequency will remain the same. In that sense, phasor multiplication where one multiplicant is the phasor of active current or voltage and another multiplicant is the phasor of complex impedance will give system respond and also by di dividing complex voltage and impedance we can find corresponding current. Phasor calculus and electric power can be found on Sierville lab site.